Hey guys, what's up? It's Hope. It is Friday, April 27th, 2018. Um, it's been quite a while since I made an update for you guys, but I'm officially 30 weeks today. So I figured I would log on real quick and kind of do an update for what the last or the second trimester has been like during um, this pregnancy. So um, for anybody who hasn't really watched any of my other videos, um, I had gastric sleeve weight loss surgery on July 1st, 2013. Um, what led me to that decision was hopefully being able to get pregnant someday and become a mom. Um, that unfortunately did not work out for me um, just with all sorts of complications. Um, we ended up having to do in vitro fertilization or IVF. Um, we did our egg retrieval last summer after a radical crazy surgery um, where they found a cyst on my right ovary and when they went in to remove the cyst, um, they ended up having to remove my right ovary and fallopian tube. Um, so I had to wait to recover from that before we did our egg retrieval. So we did that last summer. Um, we ended up with three embryos from um, that egg retrieval. And so we transferred one embryo on October 18th, 2017. And thankfully, I thank God every single day that embryo stuck and implanted and we are currently 30 weeks pregnant. Um, it's becoming a little bit easier for me to say that word if you've watched a couple of my other videos. Um, just being able to say the P word has been just really hard because I still honestly can't even believe it. Um, that something finally worked after five years of trying to get pregnant. Um, and so I'm just, my heart is so full and I'm so grateful for this experience. Um, and this journey has just been a crazy wild ride for sure. So, um, so I'm 30 weeks today. A lot has happened over the last eight weeks. Um, I think the last time I posted a video, I was 22 weeks. So pretty much the entire second trimester, um, was just flying by. And then now here I'm at, I'm at 30 weeks and I'm already into the third trimester. So I wanted to make sure and just log on real quick and give an update. Um, I am doing okay. Um, I'm continuing to swell and retain fluid. You can probably see in my face, um, my hands, my legs, my feet. Um, no high blood pressure, no blood pressure issues really at all. Thank God. Um, my doctor said some women just swell and I'm apparently one of those women. So lucky me. Um, I'm honestly not even looking at the scale at this point. Um, I was really stressing about it for a long time and um, that really concerned her. So she said at this point, she doesn't know what is weight gain and what is really fluid because I've just been retaining so much fluid since the very beginning. Um, so fingers crossed, once I do have this baby, um, I'll lose a ton of fluid and hopefully get back on track to getting back down to what my pre-pregnancy weight was. Um, but in reference to him, um, it is a little boy. Um, I don't think I've told y'all what his name is going to be. And I'm trying to like, every time I say his name, I get emotional because I still can't believe this is real life. But um, we had had a name picked out for the longest time. And then all of a sudden, it just didn't feel right anymore. Like I said, we were trying to get pregnant for five years. So um, in the middle of that, we also went through... Um, just a devastating failed adoption and that pregnancy was also a little boy um and so we had already kind of picked that name out and we were you know after the failed adoption happened we were just like I don't know if we want to use that name anymore it was just kind of hard and so we went through the entire experience with the birth mom and she changed her mind once he was born so um we were kind of like just heartbroken I guess just by seeing that name or hearing that name because we were so excited about being able to adopt this this little boy. So um, my husband saw this new name um, and I absolutely loved it from the very beginning because I honestly feel like had it not been for God's grace and mercy and unbelievable love for us, we would not be in this position right now. Just so many things have lined up so perfectly that... Um, there is just no doubt in my mind that God has kind of orchestrated all of this to take place and we are just so incredibly grateful. Um, so this little boy's name is going to be Grayson. Um, the word Grace obviously just means so much to me. And even if it would have been a girl, her middle name would have been Grace. And so 
Now that it's a boy, um, his name will be Grayson, and we are so, so, so excited. Um, now, in reference to him and how he's been doing, um, he has always measured big. I think I talked about that in my last video. Um, but he is now measuring like two weeks ahead. And so for the last couple of weeks, my doctor has been trying to monitor that very closely. We definitely don't want, or I specifically do not want a 15 pound baby. I mean, I'm, I'm grateful for whatever God gives me, but, um, yeah. So, <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, I am, I'm just really nervous about him being really, really big. My husband was six weeks early in 10, 10. Um, <coughs> so, <coughs> I have to kind of like just remind myself as long as he's healthy, as long as he's healthy, obviously that's what we want. Um, we also need him to kind of stay put as long as possible because we are still rebuilding our house after the hurricane. Um, we are not finished with it yet. And so I'm hoping and praying that we will be done with our house by the beginning of June. Um, but back to the baby, he has been perfectly fine. No issues, um, no issues with his heart rate or his or measuring, you know, small. He's always been well ahead of of what they expect him to be, which is really good. Um, I did go in for my one hour glucose test during the second trimester and was super nervous about that from the very beginning. I'm just, I'm not sure why I was so terrified. Um, and sure enough, I failed it. And I only failed it by eight points and I was so upset about it. <clears throat> um, but when I went to um, the doctor for them to tell me if I had passed or not and I had a checkup with my doctor and um, the nurse said oh my gosh you passed and I was so excited um, but then she said oh no wait I'm looking at the wrong chart and I literally could have cried I was so upset um, but anyway so I ended up having to do the three hour which was kind of a little bit of a little bit controversial um, I had several people reach out to me and say you're not supposed to do the three hour after having the gastric sleeve and I know it just depends on your doctor and what um, what they kind of recommend, but my doctor felt like because I was so far post-op out from VSG that, um, I could still do the three hour. I will tell you that it was absolutely miserable. Um, just all of that sugar at one time, I literally sat in the corner of the lobby of the lab, like doubled over, like hands on my, like I could not even... Oh, y'all, it was so bad. I was so, so, so sick. And I almost got sick several times. And the lab tech kept, com kept coming out to check on me. And she was like, don't get sick because then you'll have to do it again. And I was like, oh, I'll do anything to not have to do that again. So, anyway, I'm so glad that's over. Um, but I got a call from them yesterday. And I did pass the three hours. So, I don't have to worry about gestational diabetes or anything like that. Everything's looking great so what she kind of figured would happen anyway because like i said i only felt it by eight points for the one hour and so it sucked so bad that i had to do the three hour test but i'm glad that everything looked great and i don't have to worry about it anymore um there was a little bit of a scare with my blood pressure and that's only because that appointment where she told me i had passed and i really didn't she was taking my blood pressure at that time and it definitely like spiked up and she was like, oh, your blood pressure's a little higher than normal. And I was like, well, I was really stressed out about this test and now I've failed it. So I was just really upset about it. And so um, they ended up having me take my blood pressure um, like three times a day for like the next week just to see if periodically if I had any other spikes and it was absolutely perfect. I never had one time where it was um, it was high. So that's been a good thing, especially with all of the swelling that I've had. Um, so I'm so grateful for that. I know preeclampsia is always a concern. And so I was definitely worried about that. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, one thing obviously that's kind of, um, been held on from the very beginning in reference to symptoms is shortness of breath. I feel like I can't breathe when I'm talking. Um, or I'm breathing heavy when I'm talking. Um, and so that's just kind of something that's happened the entire time. Um, still no sickness in the second trimester. Everything has just been um, just moving so, so, so fast, which makes me really sad. I, I wish it could kind of slow down, but we just have so much going on um, that, you know, I figured it would fly by. So I'm just trying to cherish every single moment with him um, while he's in my belly. Um, I'm definitely feeling him a lot more now. 
Um, his kicks are so strong and I now know what that is when he's doing that. So I know that it's a kick. I'm also starting to feel him move a little bit. And so not necessarily kicks, but just like moving around, especially as he gets bigger and we progress, you know, more towards the end of this pregnancy. I'm definitely feeling him a lot more, which has been the most magical, unbelievable experience. <laughs> of my entire life like moments that I never ever ever thought honestly and and the low points that I would have um of course I held on to hope and I hoped and prayed that we would someday but there were definitely moments where I didn't know if it would ever happen so I'm so thankful um and so that's really just what the second trimester has <clears throat> been. Um, just glucose test, everything's been great with that. Um, we did have another, a couple of ultrasounds during the second trimester just to check on his size. Um, and they said they really feel like his size is really kind of evened out. So we're not really concerned about um, him being too big. Um, and so they're, they're, they're gonna continue to monitor that. And then, um, you know, we're still on target for a due date of June 29th. So end of June um, is when we expect for him to be here. I mean, of course, he could come at any point in June. Um, and so that's all we're hoping and praying our house will be done by the beginning of June. Um, we have walls. We have paint. Um, we've gotten our, kitne our kitchen cabinets were um, delivered this week. And so we're hoping that we can get the floor again and finish the bathrooms and finish the kitchen and then get furniture and then hopefully we'll be moved in. Um, but it feels so good to have walls again, which I know probably sounds crazy. Um, but when you don't have walls for so long and you walk in your house and it's just this gutted empty shell, it's definitely, um, it's a newfound appreciation for every single part of your, your home for sure. So we can't wait to be back in our house. Um, <clears throat> it's definitely, been a little more stressful having to deal with all of that on top of of um, this pregnancy so thankfully everything with the pregnancy has gone smoothly I haven't had any issues and I'm so grateful for that um, but that's kind of what the last um, eight weeks have been like we went to our first Astros game which was really exciting uh, you know, if you've watched my videos, you know we're huge Astros fans and we found out we were pregnant the day the Astros won the World Series <clears throat> and so that was just like a dream come true kind of day. And so we went to um, <clears throat> to a game with my sister and her husband. And it was so awesome to be there pregnant, like in, in Minute Maid Park. Like it was just so awesome. Um, so I guess another really exciting thing is being able to register. That was kind of surreal for sure. Um, I just couldn't believe that we were registering for our baby. Um just unbelievable um it's just the little things like I feel like I feel like when you go through infertility and you live in a world with so much fear and so much doubt every little thing like every little thing you just cherish and you hold on to and I'm just so grateful for every part of this experience and so being able to create a registry for our baby and pick out things for our baby has just was just incredible and I find myself looking at it like every day just to like be able to like soak it in that this these items are for our baby um it's just incredible y'all I can't even <clears throat> I can't even um so this week is National Infertility Awareness Week. Um, I posted something on my Instagram and my Facebook about it. I've been very vocal about our our journey and our experience through infertility. So it's definitely something that I talk about all the time. Um, it's not something that I'm ashamed of or that I try to hide. Obviously when you try to get pregnant for so long, um, it just becomes a part of who you are. And so um, I'm definitely still praying for all the ladies out there that are waiting for their miracle. Um, and I think that also makes me a lot more grateful for, for where I'm at in my journey also. So, um, yeah, that's where I'm at, guys. I'm 30 weeks today. Um, I can't believe it's the last trimester before um, I get to meet him, and I'm so excited. Andy and I talk about all the time. We wonder what he's going to look like or um, who he's going to become, and it's just so exciting to think about um, this little person that's part me and part him and 
we get to be responsible for him and teaching him and the boys are so excited about having a little brother so I'm excited to see them with him um, <clears throat> we've spent a lot of time at the baseball park because it's little league season and he just kicks and kicks when we're at their games and it literally makes me cry every time um, and so I'm just I'm just soaking it in I'm soaking in every moment and I'm just so grateful for it so I am going to let you go. I'm actually headed into work now, so I will see you guys hopefully soon. Um, I'll probably end up doing a couple of videos after our baby shower that's going to be in a couple of weeks. Um, and then, of course, you know, when we get closer to the due date, um, hopefully being able to show you all our house and what it looks like now after the storm and um, his nursery and just different things like that. So be on the lookout for that. Um, and then, of course, after I have him, I'm trying to figure out a diet and um, what works best for breastfeeding and all of those kinds of big decisions you have to worry about after a baby gets here. So i um, hoping to kind of vlog it all. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.